South Florida's most watched news at 11. She made her living as an antique dealer, but now a South Miami woman says all that has gone to the dogs, literally. Her home is filled with dozens of dogs, but these aren't just any canines. Local 10's Jonathan Vigliotti introduces us to the so-called death row dog saver. After 42 years of collecting pricey antiques, Diana Peters traded in the old Come on, guys. for the unwanted. Come on, be nice, guys. Dogs, dozens of them would all be dead if it wasn't for her. You're so good. Yes, you are. Peters is the founder of Death Row Dogs, a nonprofit rescue group operated out of her secluded Redlands home. She rescues and finds homes for dogs about to be killed in crowded shelters. Every time I look in their eyes, I think about if I hadn't been there that second, that they would be in a a body bag. 47 dogs of all breeds and ages live in kennels, her living room, even her bedroom. Jay. I'm sleeping like three hours a night and I'm not uh, 18 years old anymore. <laughs> this new career started in February with a trip to Miami Dade Animal Services where Peters is headed today. She was just looking for a pet, but then she heard these stories. About 80 to 100 a day are humanely euthanized due to the fact that we can't find homes for them and we are accepting 100 to 150 every single day. Peter's left with one dog, but each week returned for more, just like she's doing now. You're going to have playmates. Death Row Dogs will be this dog's new home until Peter's finds a permanent family. In the past five months, Peter says she has rescued about 400 dogs. She says with the help of the internet, she's usually able to adopt these guys out in just a few days. So how are you? That's how this family found Peter's. Peter's charges $100 to adopt a dog. That small fee covers what she pays at the shelter. She spends thousands more on food and medicine. There's never been a month that it isn't minus 1800 minus 2700 she uses the money from her antiques to keep going she says as long as shelters are overcrowded she'll find a way to give these now tired dogs another home in south miami jonathan migliotti local 10 news love that snoring miami Dade animal services say they're getting more dogs at the shelter than ever before because of the bad economy both the county and peters caution if you're going to get a dog make sure you have the time and the money to take care of one to learn more about these death row dogs, just log on to justnews.com. Breaks your heart when you see those little faces, though. Oh, they were great. Brought me to mind that expression, though. Don't they say it's raining cats and dogs? <laughs> <laughs>